if we are all in a BIM platform and we are all doing all of this stuff, but we have to think about the biggest piece, which is standardization. Now, if we are switching from CAD to BIM, this means it's the best opportunity for us that if we did not have a CAD standard for our office, for our project, this is the best time to put a standard in place. This is the best time to make things streamlined. By the way, not having even a CAD standard is a bad practice. If you don't know what there is a standard practice for naming your layers or naming your blocks or uh, how and what color each um, element is going to be assigned to, that's a bad CAD project also. But let's say now we have a chance of moving from CAD to BIM. This is the best time that we can start standardizing. And by the way, if we do not do standardization on a BIM project, it's not really a BIM project. So we do standardization in BIM on two levels. One on an organization level and the other on an individual project level. Now, uh, I would say we have different companies, we have different organizations that do set up standards. Each country, we have different organizations that put forward some standards. So let's say for, for Canada, we have Building Smart chapter, the Canadian chapter. Uh, there are ISO standards, UK follows COBE standards. Uh, then there are uh, U.S. has uh, national CAD standards, which now also has is means national CAD and BIM standards. So we can refer to these standards and we can start studying these standards to see that. And, and I'll give you basic examples. What are we going to standardize? We are going to standardize uh, our file naming structures, our folder naming structures. We are going to standardize uh, a process that who is going to do what. How are we doing stuff moving forward? This is when my disciplines are going to be coordinated. This is when these many people for this size of the project will be doing this this work. So how do we start with it? Of course, we start with the research and we we, we start with the plan. Uh, we do research different building standards, different BIM standards. And then we strategize how are we going to adapt it to our organization? How are we going to make uh, these standards or just one or mix of these standards work for how we do work in our organization. And once we have strategized that, then we put a standardization plan in place that this is what we are going to do. We start with the project and we start standardizing stuff. We apply it on the project and then we see what works for us, what does not work for us. And this is my lessons learned from my first part. And these are my lessons learned from the second project. And these are my lessons learned from the third project. And when I have an um, amount of stuff to work with, I would say that now I know the loopholes with my, my strategy and my standards. And when I have loopholes, then I go back to my plan again. Then I go back and research that what other companies have done in this situation and what other people have done in this situation. And then I re-strategize and then I re-standardize and then I reapply. And then if there are any loopholes, and we keep on moving till we have a perfect process in place where when we apply and test, it works for us. It has no chaos. BIM is such a complicated process if we do not follow standards. And BIM is a very simple life-saving process. If you're in construction industry, if you're in architecture industry, if you have standardized your procedures, 